like 21, it's a knife, bust a left, I got drunk and took a right, I'm so high, you fuck with me, I'll take your life, and then take your life, bring you back to fuck her twice, hey. I'm in the cut, oh yeah, she wanna fuck, oh yeah, that little bitch cut, bro, yeah, she give me deep throat, yeah, sis like Lee, low, combination no cheat code, yeah, I got the G code, none gon' sing, gon' glee, mo, yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is gonna be kind of like a reaction commentary video. I don't know, I've actually kind of enjoyed kind of making these kind of videos. I don't do a bit on the lazy old side of shit, but um, today's video is interesting. I at least for this kind of shit try to find like interesting videos or at least shit that not everyone in the mom probably has seen. But um, we're, we're probably gonna be watching uh the worst fucking parenting ever. Or s probably some of it, um, this is kind of probably right below, like, abusing your kids and, like, killing them and shit. Um, this person's a fucking idiot. Um, y you could kind of say the daughter's a fucking idiot as well. As you kind of, like, watch shit. Um, I, I don't know, I feel like a lot of this is kind of put on the father and could have probably been easily avoided if the father was not a fucking dumbass. But let's get into today's video. This is why you don't let your child drive drunk. I know you've been drinking. I hope you f***ing die on duty! Meet the father who thought it was a good idea. No, but you guys are a bunch of And the daughter who just couldn't stop herself. Two officers pulled a vehicle over for crossing the center stripe. As the vehicle pulls over, its front right tire appears to strike the curb. Take notice of the passenger's attempts to control the conversation. Is it why, the reason why I pulled you over is because you were kind of crossing over the line? We weren't though. Sorry, I thought it wasn't. I thought I was completely... We were at Mugsy for a couple and whatever. Okay, how much you had to drink? Nothing. I haven't had anything. We were at Mugsy for a couple and whatever. I don't have my driver's license on me actually. No, she was just driving me home because I, 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 it's my birthday today so... I put my parking... I live right up the road here. I'm, I'm... I can give you my name but I can't give you my driver's license. That's fine, that'll work for... And, and so far as driving, we didn't do anything wrong, so I know you're both. Well, I'm just, sir, I'm just making sure everyone's safe, all right? So. But, we, but everything was fine. And okay. We straight well, down the damn road, so it's like, okay. So it's like, uh, you, as long as you're not a dumbass, you could obviously tell that they, they've been drinking and shit. And definitely, it's like stupid as fuck. When people are like, oh, where did you come from? And they're like, I came from a ball. And then they're like, yeah, we didn't have any drinks. So it's like you went to a fucking ball but didn't have any alcohol like the it's just stupid and then also you could tell like also the like interrupting the office or interrupting each other and that's obviously also a perfect clear sign that um motherfuckers are fucked up um and it's just like it's fucking i don't know it's just stupid like for me whenever i go out and drink and shit i either try to get a ride worst case scenario probably uber if it's really far away or just control myself and know okay i'm not in a public setting i can't get too fucked up i don't want to get sick either and just walk home once i'm kind of done have a couple drinks and just walk my happy ass home um but again like people obviously sometimes are in walking distance and that's when i say just obviously like anyone else would say get a fucking ride um, because this kind of shit, it's, it's stupid, because obviously you're risking yourself, but then you're also risking adults, and it's just stupid, because, like, every drunk driver thinks they can get away with it, but they don't realize, okay, those speech is slowed, or they're interrupting the office one, and that's obviously a clear sign when they can, like, pick up on certain social cues, and, like, then they do the field sobriety test and all over the place and all this shit. It just, it's all bad. We well, down the damn road. My first name is Sierra. And right. I'm just letting you know now, I do not have a valid license. I have a restricted license. Nothing to drink tonight? No, I was just driving him home from the bar because he had had to be too many. Okay. Yeah, like I said, it's my birthday today, so... Just stay in the vehicle, I'll be right back with yes. you too, alright? Thank you. Okay, so now it just slowly goes downhill from here. Um, later on in the video, you find out she's like 20 years old, so she's also under the legal drinking age, and then she also, on top of that, has a restricted fucking license, and usually, I think with restricted license, like a lot of them, um, you only can drive, um, during certain times of the day, and usually restricts you from driving at night, so this bitch kind of fucking stupid, that's all I'm gonna say. 
think she's twenty. She's gonna deny, deny, deny. But she's gonna deny more than someone who's not twenty. Twenty. Okay. Hey, Sierra. Can you do me a favor real quick? Can you just turn off the vehicle and step out real quick? Alright. I know you've been drinking. Alright. Okay. The question is how much have you been drinking? I really, I've had maybe two shots. Okay. And how long ago was that? Within the last 45 minutes. Okay. Well, I got to Muskego at like 11.20 and I met my dad at the bar which was Muggsy's, and I've had one drink since then. Since I one drink of what? One drink of a twisted tea. Okay. Well, you just said you had two. No, I didn't. Okay. I just said I met my dad at the bar. I met him at Muggsy's around eleven thirty. Okay. And I've had two drinks since then. All right. So I'm just going to do a series of tests on you to make sure you're okay to drive, right? Okay. Okay. And then she finally admits her at drinking. So, it's already bad. She already lied to these cops. So, these cops are already going to want to make the arrest. They're just being chill about it. Um, sometimes some cops, right off the bat, once they find out you're lying, they kind of take off the chill. But they will try and be chill with her so they can make an easier arrest or whatever. And then, number two, she, like I said, she's under fucking age. So, it, this is just all bad. And it slowly just gets worse and fucking worse somehow instead of just realizing you're fucked and just... Or maybe just try and avoid this situation, but yeah, you're gonna slowly see all this shit just snowball into one whatever fucking huge mess. I think she ends up getting like three fucking charges in the end. Um, first of all, what's your highest level of education? My highest level. Highest level of education. That's not fair. Why is that not fair? I'm just, just asking. It's just you. a question. It's <laughs> um, my highest level of education is 11th grade. Okay. Okay, so I guess it's unfair to ask her her highest level of education because she's a fucking dumbass and dropped out of high school. Again, everyone's situation's different. Sometimes people have kids, whatever the fuck. Um, but she does have, obviously, I don't feel like, I don't know her personal life. There's no kid, though. I, and she never really brings up, oh, like, usually when people get arrested, they're like, I have kids, oh, and freak out. She didn't really do that, so it's like... She obviously didn't have kids or any of that shit. She just was kind of like a fucking dumbass probably and just dropped out. And when you're in 11th grade and you're like that close, it's like you might as well try graduate or do something, you know? So, um, yeah, I, I don't see how that's unfair besides for being just like a dumbass and to be like, should have probably graduated if you don't want to be asked that fucking question. I don't know what to say. It's got to be in here, though. Hang on, time off. Time off. So we're gonna blow in this tube, okay? Ready, like you're playing one, on a trumpet. Two. All right, stay here for me. Wait, can I pick that up because that's littering? Don't worry, it's biodegradable. Yes. Ten eighty. Yes. Okay, I'm good with that. We're still climbing. Can you please pick it up? It's don't right worry, there. Don't worry about it. All right. Sir, I'm just sorry. Take, just I'm take, just, take I really don't like people littering. It's, okay. it's just, it's right next to my dad's house. And okay, there's been right a lot of problems the past few years. You know, that, thank you so right. much. Hey, Sierra, can you turn around real quick? Place your hands behind your back. You're under arrest for OWI, okay? I love how she's like drunk driving, putting her life at risk, her dad's life at risk, everyone else on the road's at risk. And then they, like, have this biodegradable fucking breathalyzer tip and they throw it on the ground. And she gets pissed and worried about littering. Bitch, if you crash that call, that, that would be a lot of littering. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's... This person's priority is on her in the right spot. <laughs> I don't know. This shit's almost like, it almost seems like it's not real, you know? Okay. What did I blow? Uh, we'll go through that in a little bit. Uh, Can you freeze. tell me what I blew and what's legal and everything, please? You're you're up there. At, well, I mean, you know what you drank, right? Can no, I don't because hmm? my Hold dad is completely unaware. I've had maybe two drinks since I've gotten Thank here. You. So, I'm sure you heard that. What's the problem here? She's saying that she's been drinking a little bit before she's with you. Maybe. So, she's, she's up there where she... <laughs> To be quite frank with you, she's pretty drunk. Um, so she's under arrest for OWI right now. 
Um, it's a first offense. Under Wisconsin law, a driver's first drunk driving offense is a civil infraction, which typically carries a $200 fine and demerit points against the driver's license. As long as we can find somebody sober to pick her up, um, she's not going to have to go to jail or anything like that. The suspect will be arrested and detained, typically long enough to sober up and then released. Of course, that's assuming the suspect doesn't commit any other crimes. Is there somebody you can think of that would be sober, able to pick her up within like an what hour and a half? What are you talking about? I live right down the road from the police station. Can I go pick her up? I'm not oh, doing anything Sarah. more that you asked me to. No, Sarah. I'm not doing any more tests. Sarah. I mean, um, really. I mean, come on. Yeah. Yeah, that would work. I'm a bitch. Yeah. For your... Oh, that's not good. Sierra. <laughs> Sierra, I need you to cooperate, all right? Just stop resisting. Stop. You're going to make this worse for you. Did you get Sierra. it safety locked? <laughs> no. Nope. Get, sa get him safety locked. Safety locking or double locking cuffs prevents the cuffs from tightening on a suspect when they resist. Okay. Jim, keep an eye on him. I got what him. the f*** are you going to do about it? Sierra, just huh? relax. What are you going to do about it? You hurt me? Just relax. We're not going to hurt you. Just relax. Just relax. Sierra, just relax. No! We're good. You got him? Yep. Okay. Sierra, here's what's going to happen, okay? we got to search you before you put in the car. No! Sierra, Sierra stop resisting. No! Sierra. Sierra? Sierra, stop resisting. We're going we're to put her on the ground. No! Search her there. Get her on the ground. So yeah, this could have been an easy ass thing, like she probably would have got her restricted license taken away um, and she would have just been detained for the night and then released, but obviously her dumbass fights them. I'm gonna probably skip most of the like fighting because it's probably just 20 minutes of her telling like cops that you should die and screaming at them pretty much and nothing crazy, but what happens near the end kind of blows my fucking mind. And I'll probably just let you guys watch it first because I kind of don't want to spoil it. Let me talk to her. I get on the phone. Sir, that boat has sailed. This is why people want you guys, you know, out off the fucking streets when it comes to fucking mental health issues because you can't deal with it. You don't know anything about mental health, health so issues. Physically. After consulting with a mental health expert, we were able to confirm that allowing your daughter to drive drunk is actually a parenting issue. Yes, it's, you can't handle it. You guys can't handle it. You're like, oh, we got to go buy a book. We, we just, oh, we arrest somebody. Okay. I get it. You're unhappy. But no, I'm very unhappy. unhappy. You're a fucking piece of shit. Dude. Yeah, I got that. Yeah, f you. So are you done? Yeah, I guess I'm done. Okay. Do you need anything out of your truck? Yeah. What do you need? Don't ever fucking say hi to me. I'll tell you that right now. Okay, what Never. do you need out of your truck? Nothing. I don't, I, I, I'll get anything I want out of my truck. I'm in a passenger seat, bitch. So guess what? You can't tell me what to do or what to get out of my truck or what I can do in this city because I'm not driving a f***ing vehicle, am I? I'm so f*** no. you. That one should be good, hopefully. You guys know all the f***ing shit. You guys don't know jack shit about people. I'll tell you that right now. You don't know nothing. Okay. Can we get you off to your house already? Yeah, I guess you can. All right, let's go. All right, fuck yourself. What, are you going to arrest me? Are you going to arrest me for fucking being a dick to you? Uh, DC, maybe. Disorderly conduct. Um, disorderly conduct for what? For screaming so a lot of people are coming um, out of the house. Screaming? Did you see anybody screaming here? No, listen. I just, I need to okay. wipe my okay. nose. That's fine. That's fine. Just listen I for I need to wipe my nose. You gotta stop talking for a second, okay? I we're gonna sit you up, and then we're gonna get you to a standing position, and we're gonna seat you in a chair, okay? All right, we're gonna sit you up to your left. Don't me, Officer Miller, ever. I'm not afraid of you. Okay, good. I think you're a fucking kid. I'm 53 fucking years old. I heard. Happy birthday. Yeah, thanks a lot, also. She was not charged with any crimes related to driving while intoxicated. According to court documents, 
The suspect was instead charged with resisting an officer and threatening a law enforcement officer. We're gonna let you out of the jail. Okay. Will you cooperate okay. with us? Her charge of resisting arrest was read in, but dismissed in return for her pleading guilty to the charge of threatening an officer, for which she will serve 13 months in jail, 18 months extended supervision, and an additional two years of probation, in addition to over $500 in fines and court fees. So, yeah, this bitch really fucked up in the end, and I'm surprised they didn't really charge her for it, like, driving while intoxicated. But again, they did charge her, which I kind of missed. I tried to go off my memory, but she got like two charges, which ended up being like resisting an officer and threatening the officer, which ended up giving her like a good 13 months in jail, 18 months of extended supervision, and two years of probation, and like $500 in fines, which I still kind of feel like in a way, they kind of could have, like, they, they obviously didn't let her off hell easy, but they kind of did, because they could have easily charged her with, like, driving intoxicated, and the other charges, and her ass would have been locked away a little longer, um, but either way, um, the, the obviously the father couldn't do much, but I still find it fucking crazy, he just kind of, like, dipped out on her ass, didn't really say shit to her, and then, like, um, he did try to say, oh, I could calm him down, and they tried to, like, not have him walk up to her and all that shit, but to you kind of, like, instead of just try and be calm about it, or, you know, try and have her, like, try and be like, hey, calm down, you're just making it worse, whatever, he just argues with the police officers and call them bitches and shit, and tries to get his own ass arrested as well, when they're trying to be like, hey, to fuck off, we're trying not to arrest you, too, and it's just this whole fucking thing's a fucking mess. And it's just, it's crazy. Like, these kind of videos makes me think some of this shit has to be fake. Like, it has to be, like, but it's not. And it's just, it's honestly sad. Definitely when it's, like, um, an adult, you know, a father or whatever, putting their own kid in this position and kind of, like, almost using their kid as an escape goat instead of them getting arrested for drinking and driving, have their kid to get arrested for it. It's just, it's sad. And definitely when he also brings up that she has mental problems, and if that's true, you're, so you're putting your kid who has mental problems through all that crazy shit, like, it's fucked up. But besides that, I hope you guys enjoyed today's weird-ass fucking video. Comment down what you guys think um, in the comments down below. And yeah, see you guys on the next video. Hope you guys, like I said, enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe. And yeah, see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.